Okay, I, uh, been running off this resistor trick for a while, for over a week now. Yeah. Uh, pretty much got off so they don't give me any problems. I just got a little computer heat sink here. I just put tape on there and it looks really nice if you take the tape off it. Got my resistors there. It doesn't, when you do run it, it doesn't even get warm at all that way. You know, especially it's nice and cool in this area. Put it in the engine bay, it gets hot. Put, it in, put up somewhere here where it won't get wet, be alright. The resistors would come from your battery. Probably use a fuse. I'm not sure what. I imagine about 20 amps, 30 amps. Uh, whatever your your coil don't suck up. And then basically, this is really wired through the where you would normally put the negatives to your ignition coils. It's kind of weird how I got it. Okay? From here to there, all all coils. And that's that. You will be able to have your OEM igniter make IGF signals, but you won't even be using your igniter to control your plugs. Uh, but this video is about I'm actually making the IGF signals with this over there. Hello. I'm not going to show you too many details, you know, I'm not telling this thing. Maybe someone else would like to have this idea to market. Okay, here's my, uh, this is an igniter. I gotta be careful, you know, this is temporary. This is the, this is the big chill that goes to the igniter. Not been connected. There's, there's nothing connected at all to the igniter. No, no. This is. I gotta be careful. I can't. Can't be touching on that. Uh, this is wire that goes to the IGO. Mm, that's the coil. I mean the pigtail, of course. Uh, that's my circuit right there. Still temporary. It's my IGF signals. I kind of surprised myself. Uh, yeah, those look exactly like almost. Uh, OEM IGF signals. Uh, might be about 0.1 to 0.2 milliseconds too long though. So, uh, shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I I need to tear up my so you can't even see my see that. I need to tear up that yet. I'm I'm actually gonna open I'm gonna take the EC out, open it up, and take a look. Cause, uh, I could just put this chip right inside my ECU, and nobody's even gonna know. Okay. Once I get this perfected and reliable, I might offer uh, some of your ECU, and I will do this for you. But I, I'm not sure. It's too much liability. I don't want to blow up someone's uh, ECU. Be responsible for it. Okay. Obviously, you can't drive around like that. 
like that. Uh, took me a while. It's, it's not so simple to make, but I, it took me so long to solder that thing up. I need to get some uh, smaller size wires and stuff like that. But, uh, there you go. Right there. That's your igniter. I'll take this whole igniter out right now. I'll, yeah, I might show that in the next video. I'll, take, I'll just take the... I'll just take the whole igniter out of there. So, uh, at first I thought I was going to have to use some resistors, but the chip I'm using has built-in resistors in it, so I got no problems. Uh, I definitely wouldn't uh, be running that. I probably wouldn't be running that little IC uh, under the hood either. Uh, I can rig it up inside the car. I'm a little hesitant to uh, run it like that right now. I will just go ahead and solder everything up nice. And, uh, I still didn't want to mess with the harness, but I'll have it. Uh, make sure the connections are nice. And I'll be able to uh, at least drive down the road. If I have any issues or problems, I'll revert back to the resistor trick. Uh, so there we go. So, uh, looks like a little nightmare there. I just about ran out of those leads there. So, probably stop by uh, a couple places buy some little things so I can make the circuit board a little nicer and put it inside a little box. Look a little more professional. All right, there.